This is why your agent and tracking scripts are not working, which is costing you thousands and thousands of dollars, if not way, way more. And I'm gonna break down for you guys how a brand new agency win with my frameworks on about four agents in less than a week. Yes, you heard that right. Four agents in less than a week as a brand new agent with no connections. All thanks to these scripts and also more importantly, thanks to the framework I'm gonna teach you. I'm top 90 in my brokerage, I'm 90 time agents globally at Agent Attraction. I had five agents with me at the Sprint Awards, and also my wife and I are top 20 for our first line Agent Attractors. So you wanna grow your brokerage team or downline, this is the right spot for you. So again, I'm gonna share with you guys to help me recruit over 100 plus people to my team at the Royal Circle in record breaking speeds. Now the first part of this video, you know, you understand that your scripts have become so good that it sounds unscripted. That is the first case. Think about your favorite actor or actress. From Leonardo DiCaprio to Brad Pitt to Halle Berry and so forth. Who your favorite actor or actress is when you watch their movies or TV shows, they sound like they're talking in real life. It seems real to them. That is the difference. Hiring scripts are amazing. They will help you so much close more agents. Again, I have brand new people have scripts work for them. But it comes down to understanding the scripts on an internal level. You'll make sure you know it so well that your conversations sound unscripted. Whether that be for a phone call, a text, email, social media, or in person. Does not matter the context of it. This makes you understand it so well that it sounds like a natural conversation. I have given thousands and thousands of presentations and pitches over the past couple of years, and that is not an exaggeration. And I've learned that talking to people, when it sounds more unscripted, my chances of closing them, how them ask me to join my team after I talk to them, with my 10 or 20% close rate to around 70%. Yes, you want that for yourself, keep listening. It all comes down to understanding how to frame your calls and frame your emails and frame your text messages and outreaches. So having your script become part of you and understand what's going on makes a world of a difference for you and your recruiting endeavors for agent attraction. And on the next point on that as well, another thing that being a great negotiator or recruiter or agent attractor all comes down to understanding that you are a miner of data. The best negotiators win by knowing the most. If you know nothing about the other person, it's hard to help them. That's why when you see people talk about scripts all the time, like the first part of it could be collecting data. What are their goals, their ambitions, what are their roadblocks, what's going on with them, and so forth. I want to make sure that I'm mining as much data as possible on the potential recruit before I even talk to them or while I'm talking to them. This will give you a huge leg up on recruiting to your team. Because I know that they hate aging attraction, they hate stuff, hate you know X, Y, and Z, and I pitch them that, my chances of recruiting them goes down a lot more. If I know that they want to have more time or more money, or go from 10 deals a year to 10 deals a month or so forth, I can use that to help them, then that power and that negotiation process helps me way more close and faster. And if you like this so far, make sure you subscribe to this channel, use the like, got way more coming to you soon, especially the last part of this. The last part will make a huge difference in your recruiting endeavors. But you understand though, making sure you're mining data as much as possible. Because someone tells me, for example, that I'm not interested, I don't have time, I like my broker, you put all the objections before, rebuttals, I want to make sure that I can say, oh, you don't have time, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, I was the same exact way until I joined this company. With my first nine months, I got financial freedom and time freedom thanks to being here. Are you opposed or interested on hearing more how that works for you? So right there, I saw what they 
had a lack of, lack of time. And now I'm giving them a solution to that. Again, that's all negotiation is. If I can find their pain points and give them a solution, you'll now be able to add more value to them and recruit them to your team or attract them to join you. That's why mindful data is super crucial. And at least my next point, my own personal story, financial freedom in nine months thanks to EXP Realty. Because of that, I have a story I can use now when I'm talking to people. And now so do you. You should become a collector of stories. Find stories from top agents in your company, in the world, on YouTube, it doesn't matter. But find these stories. So when you're talking to people, you have more stories to give them, you have more chances now of closing them to join your team. But at the end of the day, facts tell and stories sell. If I can give more stories to you and more context to you, it's way more engaging. This video, for example, is more story format. I'm not just saying, use this script, use this script, use this script. I'm saying a whole dialogue behind that to make it more entertaining. Same for a cause and also for other people. If I can break down what's going on with them and so forth, help you way more. Now, after you collect your stories and you already mine the data and you understand the framework and understand your scripts, our next point is remember this. It's all about whoever can add the most value wins. That is the name of the game. But there's two things. Number one, recruiting doers and those who are already top agents or top people in the company or in the world is harder than anything. Because they don't need you. Can you help them? Of course you can. Maybe you have stock options. Maybe you have revenue sale. Maybe you have a way to do more production or make a bigger team or recruit more agents, it doesn't matter. They could use that, but at the same time, they're already happy, they're already doing things. Which is why we should always kind of add value as much as possible. What can we do to make the lives better? This is part of, you know, mindful data. When I'm mindful data, I'm trying to find out what is your pain point with your problems. And you should become a collector of not only stories, of tools. What can you do to improvise other people? What broker can you create for yourself or join that adds more value to other agents out there? What programs can you make? Help more people as well grow even faster. And same as Plug Hill, if you want more tools for yourself and a program for your agent attraction, down below are my best scripts for you for almost nothing. And again, I use these scripts personally to more than eight agents in less than five days. And it works like a miracle. So you love it for yourself. Down in the bottom section down below, you can find it for yourself for almost nothing. You love it. But again, back to the whole point of the story though is you want to make sure you add as much value as possible. Again, that's the name of the game. Those who are millionaires and billionaires added more value. I was homeless off now from 12 to 18 years old. One part of that was I had a really terrible upbringing and not the best family culture, but no problem, I wasn't adding that much value to the world or to my family even at that point. But now I'm a millionaire by 30, I add more value than I did back when I was a kid. Adding value is crucial having huge, huge successes. And our last one, make sure you give options. And options could be a lot of different things. One option could be, hey, you want to meet with me on 2 p.m. on Monday or 3 p.m. on Tuesday? I'm giving an option there. If I just say, hey, is 2 p.m. good for you? They can say no. It's a yes, no question. I want a this or that question. If you can do that, your chances of closing them are much, much higher. Unless you like my wife, for example, for a quick story for you guys. I actually did it with my wife and she's also good at sales. So she knew what I was doing to her and not like it that much. She did choose a time though, so it worked. But sometimes people can know what you're doing them. This is why having a good script in place and understanding your scripts is really powerful. However, I will say though, nine times out of 10, doing like this or that sounds really natural, especially if you play it out like, hey, I'm super busy this week, or hey, my calendar is full super fast. I wanna make sure I have a time for you. When is best for you to meet? 
this time or that time. And that way it's easier for them to say, okay, that works for me. Now I'm doing my favor. I'm trying to make sure I save my time to talk to them. Same is true though from how I recruit them. If I say four, are you opposed to hearing more about this? This is a yes or no question, but most people are not big on saying, yes, I'm opposed to that, or yes, I'm not open-minded. So saying to them, are you open-minded to hearing more about this or this part of that? Now I'm gonna, they're not going to be both at the same time. Are you opposed to hearing more about time freedom or financial freedom for yourself? About how can we make more money or hold more deals? To see your family more or do this more? And you see that even with my scripts now, I can give them a double close. Saying, are you open-minded? Are you opposed to that? Is one part of my close. And this is my double close process. I'm closing in two different points for my scripts. One is saying, hey, are you opposed or open-minded to hearing more? This is my first part, opposed or open-minded, my first part of my close. My next part is opposed to hearing more about how help you do 10 more transactions in the next few months or have more time to finance for passive income through this opportunity. Same exact thing. I'm now giving them two closes. Opposed, open-minded. Most people are not saying no to saying, yes, I'm not open-minded. No one wants to think that way. So saying that to them as well makes it even easier for you to close on them, which is my first part. Again, second part is, is this thing you want or this thing you want? If I did my data mining already, I already know they want to have more time or more money. And now I can box them in on two different points. Hope this helped you guys though. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give me a like. Go down below to my bio as well. Get the scripts for yourself. And while you're at it, down in the comment section down below, what is your best script you use so far? Love to hear for yourself as well. As always, you're all kings and queens. And abundance is your birthright. I'll see you at the top. Heroes to the royal life.